Welcome back to Talking Story. My name is still John Minton. Thanks so much. It is time for our Sunday wrap-up, our weekly reader check-in with each other. And thanks so much for joining me. This is going to be one of my favorite parts of the week, guys. Just to, after a week is over, get together, sit down. I hope you had as great of a reading week as I did. I had a great reading week. I had a pretty, uh, pretty good week, too. I hope everyone out there that logs on and checks us out had a good week. Uh, this week on the channel, we put up our TBR for our spooky season. We're going to step into the October country with nothing but spooky reads. And I've already started the first one. So that whole TBR is out there. Check it out. And also, we got a review up of Elizabeth Hand's A Haunting on the Hill, which is an authorized sequel to Shirley Jackson's classic, A Haunting of Hill House. So check out that review. The book will be out on the 3rd of October. I wanted to get the review out there a little bit early to let you know that it's absolutely a worthy successor and it's absolutely a great pick for spooky season. And check out the review. And thank you so much for NetGalley and Mulholland Books for getting me a advanced reader copy of that so I could get the review up for everybody. Um, so next week we got coming probably, I believe I'll get the review up for... The Down Below Beyond by Mr. T.A. Bruno, who was wonderful enough to send me a copy of his book. And I have read it, and I will get a full review up for everybody next week. And what else will I be doing next week? I think I'll put up a video, and this will probably be the first video to go up next week. It's going to be a massive birthday book haul because my family was so wonderful to me and just loaded me up with so much great reading and gift cards, which I did nothing but run out and spend on my addiction of books and just loaded up my shelves and TBRs like it's, it's, it's not even right. So I will go through everything that I got for the month of September for my birthday month with you. That's probably coming up on Tuesday. Um, so what have I been reading this week, guys? I have wrapped up, uh, like I said, the Elizabeth Handbook. And um, I can't hold that up because it was an advanced reading copy. And I also wrapped up the last of the First Blade trilogy. I wrapped up The Last Argument of Kings by Mr. Joe Abercrombie. And 100% this trilogy will be going on my best of fantasy list. Just, wow. What I love so much about this is I know Joe Abercrombie set out to do his spin, his take on an epic fantasy story. And he does that, but he does it with so many amazing callbacks to so much foundational stuff that we all know and love. The Once a Future King is in there. Tolkien is in there. There's just so many things that are in there, but he puts such a complex spin on the characters he makes them so wonderfully contemporary and real and complex and he brings his sense of dialogue that he has honed from working in the tv film industry i believe he's an editor if i'm not mistaken uh and just absolute wow i know after this comes the three standalone novels and then the age of madness trilogy uh, and then I think a couple of short story collections wraps up the entire First Law universe. And I will 100% be going forward with that because I was absolutely, it absolutely blew my hair back. Um, so what did I start after that, guys? I started Spooky Season a couple days early because I want to stay on top of it. And I think we have like seven books to get through for the month. So I did start off with Stephen King's Holly, a bit of a psychological terror, a bit of a, 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 bit of a mystery kind of feel. And as you can see, I should wrap this up tomorrow. I'm already, I think I'm down to my last 100 pages or so. Uh, as always, Stephen King, completely compulsively readable. Even when he is not at his best, you cannot help but just sitting still and turning page after page after page. And this is absolutely no different. Sometime within this month, I will have a full review up of this book. Um, next week again is Mr. T.A. Bruno's book, and I got to get a full review up of the first, the, the last of the first law, because I did the first two, and I want to have all those done, so I have a lot of reviews coming, but since this is just a day away, on deck, probably started Tuesday night, is Victoria Tekken's phase. This is our werewolf story for spooky season. This is a self-published book. This is Tori 
tech in her channel Tori talks I absolutely love her channel I just checked out her and bookborn having about a two and a half hour conversation and I thought you know I'll just listen to this like off to the side and I just ended up watching the whole two and a half hours because it was just like watching a couple friends hang out at a coffee shop or a bar or something and talk books and it, it was just it was absolutely delightful I love her channel I, I I love everything she does for the YouTube community and as a self pub Author, I have not checked her out yet, and I know her epic fantasy series starts in November. So I wanted to get on board early. Spooky season is the perfect time for her werewolf story, and that is coming next. Probably going to start on Tuesday. So since we're all here, guys, and I'm kind of backed up on reviews and things like that, I wanted to take the time on this weekly roundup to wrap up, I'll go ahead and wrap up everything that I went through last month in the month of September. So this is gonna be like my monthly wrap-up video, kind of all put together. And start checking out these weekly wrap-ups because I'm gonna start doing more things like that. I might even throw a review or something in there. Uh, I just got my first tag. Unlimited Breeds actually tagged me. I was tagged and I'm absolutely going to do that video. It's the King of Horror, Stephen King tag and I got all the questions. I'm gonna answer them, I'm gonna do that. So. I have a lot of stuff to get out there in the month of October, so some of that stuff is going to start, maybe next week I'll do the tag right here in Weekly Reader, so some of that stuff is going to start bleeding over into this Weekly Reader format on Sunday evening, so but I'm excited about that tag for sure. Uh, so just going real real quick through the month of September, uh, we started off with World Tree. If you guys are looking for a crazy cyberpunk horror, spooky, weird read for Halloween, for October country, for spooky season, this World Tree by James the IV and art by, uh, I don't have my eyes in, but the art was really great. Um, this is a great, great choice. His Nice House on the Lake is a great choice as well. I checked Amazon. The collected edition of this is up for pre-order. I cannot stress enough, guys. Give this a chance. It's not comics like you think comics. We're not talking... Batman, Superman, Daredevil, Moon Knight, pick your favorite. This is this is way out there adult stuff. Really, really great type of reading that we in this community in this genre love. So give this a shot. Um, I followed that up with a little bit of the Mucho Mojo storyteller, his own self, Mr. Joe R. Lansdale with Donut Legion. Uh, this is not one of his long running series of the Hap and Leonard series. This was just a standalone and was absolutely hilarious as always and a great mystery and a delightful read and I have a full review of this up if you haven't checked it out go to the channel and check that out that is there also for my buddy Reed we wrapped up the trilogy the third and final book of the daughter of the empire by Raymond E. Feist and Janny Wirtz I have already put up a full video of five reasons why you should absolutely read this trilogy this as well as first law is going to make my all-time list, guys. This just checks so many boxes, and I know it's from the 80s, and I know a lot of times people go, well, you know, that it's before we really got into the, the stuff that I like, and I don't want to necessarily go back. I usually don't like stuff from the 80s, and, and maybe I'm not a big fan of Raymond E. Feist's Riff War, and it just has a bad taste in my mouth. Trust me. Trust me. Janny Wirtz is the missing ingredient, and it's just delicious check out that video the five reasons why you should get into this trilogy that was wrapped up this month for our self-pub read i read and put up a full review as well of the wickwire watch this by jacqueline hagan she has just been notified i believe last week or week before that she is a finalist in spiffbo this is one of the finalists. This, in my opinion, could absolutely not shock anybody if it wins it all. She is a delightful human, and she just recently sent me uh, the third book to this. I'm absolutely continuing. I have so many questions that continue to nag at me. Check out that full review, and I go over all that there. That was amazing. And everyone that voted for my birthday read that voted for me to read the warlord chronicles by bernard cromwell i had i had never cornwell 
Bernard Cornwell. I had never read any of him. I had only watched the Netflix series of The Last Kingdom and really enjoyed that. I had never read any of this. I'm a huge Arthurian fan. You guys chose so well. And I know I talked about this last week because I just finished it, but I have ruminated on this. I have thought this over. And I am not going to put up a full review of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I have read the entire trilogy because I just feel like this is such a first act of a grand story that I, that I, I just want to wait. But I will be putting up something substantial, a full video after I've read all three. I already have, after Spooky Season, the first opportunity, November, to read book two. Uh, that is one of the books I've already got in. Uh, so that'll be covered in the giant book haul. But this was, come on now, Nimue shows up wearing somebody else's dried up, desiccated skin with a snake in each hand. I, you know, th I, I don't need to say anything else if you haven't read. You sh that should make you get on Amazon right now and order yourself a copy of this. But I will be doing something substantial video wise for this when I have finished the whole trilogy. Thank you so much for voting for a birthday read. Absolutely love this. I don't know if it makes my all-time fantasy list because I don't know if I can call it fantasy. It's more of a historical vibe, but I'll have to rum on that, ruminate on that more. And as I said, I left a little note for myself. I finished A Haunting on the Hill thanks to NetGalley and Mulholland Books. Full review of that is up. Miss Elizabeth Hand, as always, a master of prose can take you from the beautiful to the disgusting in the flourish of a pin. Uh, such a worthy successor, so much homage to the first tale, and she brings it in, and I, I, I have a full review of it. Check it out. I go into deep detail how she does it, what she breaks away from. It, it, it's, it's absolutely a worthy successor, and you should check it out if you have any interest in that wonderful classic being added on to. As I said, coming up this week will be a full review of Mr. T.A. Bruno's. He was wonderful to send me this book. I have read it and truly enjoyed it, and it surprised me. I, I, I haven't scored this yet, but while reading, I thought, you know, I'm going to have to take a point offer here, too. He's, it's one of those stories that I love it. It's a great time. It's a great adventure romp. It's like the old movies that I used to watch when I was a kid, sci-fi movies that I used to love and used to watch as a kid. And, and But, you know, he's kind of it's as a story, it can only end one way. I can kind of see the ending, and somehow it didn't end that way. It ended in a much more profound and meaningful way for me, and thank you so much for Mr. Bruno for subverting my expectations there. And coming up this week, I will have that full review for you. And as I already said, because I went over what I finished this week, I wrapped up in the month of September the first Law Trilogy. Well, you know. It's, we all know it. We all love this. I don't have to go over it again. And that was it for the month of September, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for so much for liking and subscribing and taking this reading journey with me. It, it, it has been so meaningful to me. I was so far behind and, and I had been focusing on story in a different way for so many years. And to come back to the genre that I grew up loving and to find this community and to have you guys tune in with me as I try and catch up and, and, and ramble uh, in front of a camera. It's really been magical for me. Absolutely meaningful. Um, let's see. I'm thinking about if I have any TV tidbits for you. Um, I'm caught up on Ahsoka. I'm starting to really enjoy it. I'm starting to think they maybe want to give uh, Dave Filoni more influence. I kind of think he's kind of a very interesting storyteller. Uh, I want to see where he goes. Uh, he's written all of it. He hasn't directed all of it. He directed the first couple. And I'm really enjoying it. I think I, I'm about three episodes into Changeling. I'm really enjoying that too. A little shaky on the first episode. After that, I think it was really great. I wrapped up the winning time on HBO, which is a show about the old uh, 80s Showtime Lakers. And that's nostalgic for me because I lived in L.A. during that period. And I kind of just wanted to... Uh, to relive the good times of, of uh, Magic joining the team and, um, and, and winning those first championships uh, with him there while I was there for that. Uh, I don't really think anything else. Oh, I'm caught up on Lower Decks. Always, always a gym. If you have not checked that out and been away from Star Trek for a while, oh my God, what a joy that is. 
Um, that That's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you are here for me through the next week. We, we just put a big announcement. We went over 500 subscribers. I can't, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't go to that page and look all that often. So when I do and I see, I, I just see a number like that, I, 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 it just floors me. It absolutely floors me. And I'll, I'll never be able from the bottom of my heart to thank you guys enough. Uh, it, it has been such an amazing, magical journey for me so far. And I hope you're having a good time too. And I hope you keep turning in. This has been Talking Story. My name is John Mitten. We'll see you next week.